the clues, everyday signs and symptoms. In this lesson, you will learn about the clues your body is giving you in relation to the state of your current metabolic health. And you'll gain a deeper understanding of the importance of taking time to consider how you feel and what you can see when you look in the mirror. When you reach for a painkiller or an anti-inflammatory to help you get through the day, you are masking clues that your metabolic pathways are struggling to cope. On a regular basis, your body will give you external signs of an internal problem. So recognising those clues to what the underlying systemic imbalances will help you to enhance your future metabolic health. You may be thinking a few aches and pains and bloating after dinner are signs you're just getting older or it's something you ate. I'm sorry to tell you that it is likely there is something quite serious happening and it was something you ate, but it was weeks ago, not today. It's important to be aware of the most common signs and symptoms because as you age, these are clues. These clues will only continue to create the systemic imbalances which will lead to disease. The most common symptoms, steady weight gain, and I'm only talking a couple of pounds, but over time, if you have steady weight gain, that is a clue. Low energy or fatigue, mood swings and anxiety, cravings and or hunger, poor sleep quality, aches and pains, bloating and heartburn, and asthma and allergies. They are the most common symptoms that most people will be facing if there is underlying systemic imbalance. And if you've been suffering from any of these or all of these for more than two years, then these are the clues that there is something wrong with your metabolic pathways. All of these symptoms have a root cause within these pathways. The main ones that I'm always talking about, delivery, so delivery of energy, detoxification, clearance by your liver, and deficiency, which is about absorption in your gut. Your body is talking to you, so please take time to listen. So there's some more detailed clues if you've got issues with delivery of the energy into your cells. Things like brain fog, lack of concentration, headaches and migraines and then on the skin if you've got skin tags or aging skin so deep wrinkles more than you believe if you know what I mean so if you think hmm, where have they come from these are clues clearance clues are things like constipation hot sweats and hot flushes yes menopausal but if you've got them it's a liver clearance issue puffy eyes and then oily skin and then large open pores to hold that extra uh, sebum that's on the skin. So if you have oily skin, nine times out of ten you'll also have large open pores. We've then got absorption clues. So these are about your gut microbiome. Is there an issue going on with your actual gut? So various food intolerances, constipation, slightly related to clearance, but it is an absorption issue. And then with that comes sensitive skin or reactive skin. Dry skin, dry skin patches, flaky skin, which then leads to things like psoriasis or eczema patches on your skin. These are all clues that there is an issue with the absorption on the nutrients within your gut flora. So if you experience any of these clues, instead of automatically reaching for over-the-counter medication or visiting your GP or searching for more skincare products to treat this symptom, take a step back for a moment and think about What is the root cause of this condition? It is a symptom of systemic imbalance. So in summary, all I want you to do is be aware of your existing symptoms because they are clues that there is a systemic imbalance and potentially a dysfunction in your metabolic pathways that you can address to improve your future health. So next we're going to look a little bit more into the long-term effects of these uh, clues and the effect of treating the symptom, not the cause.